Breaking off the top here at 3 o'clock, the precision of a sniper ends a bank robbery with one bullet. Lee County deputies were forced to make that call after the sheriff says a knife-wielding robber held the blade to the throat of an innocent hostage. You're watching Wink News at 3. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Nicole Gabe. Now, the chaotic scene unfolded inside of the Bank of America at the Bell Tower shops in South Fort Myers. Wink News reporter Liz Byro is planted firmly right there at that scene. Liz, it all started with a robbery in progress call. Yeah, and Nicole, Sheriff Carmine Marcino said it was all hands on deck within minutes and the robbery turned into a hostage situation. This all happened at this Bank of America. This is right next to the Dave and Busters in Bell Tower. Now I spoke to someone who was inside the bank when it happened. You can see this door right behind me. That's where everyone goes in, but the suspect turned to the right once inside and once the chaos started, he yelled that he had a gun. LCSO got the call shortly after 11 this morning and the sheriff said his deputies immediately rushed in while dozens of people ran out. They secured the building, then began trying to negotiate with the man with a knife. He initially took two hostages. At one point during negotiations, he became physical. He started to put one of the hostages in like a, a headlock and he had the knife to her throat. SWAT team was in place. When he presented deadly force like that, our SWAT sniper shot and killed the suspect. We were fear, in fear for her life and her safety. Again, I'm giving you the details I can because this is a very fresh scene. The sheriff said both hostages are safe. I did ask him if he is going to identify the suspect or if any of his deputies are familiar with that man. He did not answer that question or any other questions. Now I spoke to others inside the building, actually on the fifth floor of this Bank of America. Interestingly, they told me they had no clue what was going on downstairs until a coworker returned from lunch to see SWAT and LCSO outside. Now let's take a look around right now. You can see it's still a fairly active scene. This is all under investigation. I actually know people who are parked inside this lot who are unable to move their cars. We look around, you can see LCSO is still here. With this being said, the Bank of America, or not the Bank of America, the Dave and Buster's right in front of me. There's people going in and out. And I will keep you updated as we learn more about all this. For now, Liz Byro, Wink News.